Hi guys. How is everybody? I am so sorry that I did not live stream last night for the Ouija question and answer with the Ouija questions and the everything. Um, I was in therapy like all day yesterday and it was incredible. It was seriously incredible. I know. <clears throat> now I know why. Everybody has a free therapist. It's brilliant. It's a genius. So, getting there. Getting there. The beast. So, it's, it's getting better. It's getting a lot better. I did not know this. One thing about myself. One thing I learned yesterday. Disassociative Personality Disorder. Now you guys are like, oh my god, you're crazy. <clears throat> no, I'm not crazy. It's scary though. It's a very scary thing to go in and start to talk to somebody and tell them all your problems and then they diagnose you like instantly. But it was really seriously amazing. Seriously amazing. The best fucking thing in my life was that session. That four hours session. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, last night was the first night that I went to bed not not wanting to not wake up. And I woke up. I feel freaking amazing. <sighs> Things are gonna be okay. So, anyways. First thing yesterday. After I got home from my very long session. Uh, so I caught up with everything, everybody. It was great. Everything was fun. We had one trick-or-treater. Just one. Just my little baby cousin. She's so cute. So. And then I get home and you know my psychotherapists really get into your brain. So I have repressed a good chunk of my childhood that I have got to under I gotta bring that back out so and it's really funny that I go in there too and she catches me uh, it, you cannot fool another well you cannot fool a psychotherapist or a psychiatrist or a therapist or a counselor or a caseworker when you have a background in psychology yourself and you have studied uh, working on transforming your inner demons into demons which is basically what she, they do, is, you know, through all of this, uh, different types of, uh, mechanisms that they use, uh, different stimuli to bring this stuff out in you. So, when I kind of told her that I thought I have an altar, I have a few altars that start to take over, she, she, she caught on very quickly that I, I know my psychology, and she thanked me that, you know, that most people go to them for, you know, pain medication or medicine, and I didn't want that. I did not want medication. I just wanted somebody to talk to. A professional. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. But, and then I explained to her, <laughs> sadly, my visions. And it was very, very strange. She looked at me and she goes, she had a really puzzled look, and I explained to her my visions. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what. What a vision. Well, it's my nightly vision of Lucifer, but I replace Lucifer with Jesus, because it is a sadly Christian-oriented uh, place. But they are very accepting, uh, very accepting. The actual people are the type of Christians that my big says Monica open very open to all kinds of different paths and they you know she believes that all paths lead to God so we found our our uh, oh we met yes we met so we we fully understood each other which was incredible it was so incredible so but anyways, so yeah, it, it feels good, it feels good. Now I just gotta get that big chunk of my childhood unblocked so I can figure out what, what had happened, 
all of it. So, got a lot of work to do with the brain, but I'm not crazy. She assured me I am not crazy. I'm just very, yeah, I'm out there. But it's a good thing she said that, you know? If everybody was the same, this world would be very boring. And I agree. So, okay, yesterday, I come home. And I have this package. And it's sitting on my stair step to my apartment. When I walk up the stairs, and I see this. A Ouija queen. How amazing is this? This is actually a reproduction, a replica of the original uh, Ouija Queen from Canada. Sadly, um, you cannot get these in the United States. Um, not the real ones. If you're lucky, you can find them in flea markets. Um, or you can find somebody that has one and try to barter with them. But this is actually a Cosmo Bryant limited edition original Ouija, original art spirit boards, and this is a Cosmo Bryant Mystics Vintage Reproduction Ouija. How amazing is that? And I mean, it is just so, so amazing. It is sturdy. It, it's seriously very nice. And the back, I mean, it's just seriously amazing. I love it. I, I love it. Seriously, the most amazing thing I've seen. So, oops. There we go. So, WeijaWorks.com. You can get those. So yeah, it's a limited edition. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, it is very nice. Very nice. I love this board. And it does come with the planchette. And it slides very smoothly. So I will be working with the Ouija Queen. And I am, yes, very happy. Thank you, big sis. I love it. I love it. All right, Cosmo Bryant, here's your review. <laughs> um, poorly made planchette, very poorly made. Um, you can see the packaging tape. How they've tried to go in and uh, make it look. I can fix all this though myself. Smooth it all out, get the crinkles out. So that's the planchette. Very awesome replica. Very awesome replica. And I don't know what that is. I think that's a witch. I'm not sure. Something like that. I think that's the Ouija Queen. I don't know. So yeah, you can see where the packaging tape this will get some treatment and it will be amazing and then I don't know what it's made out of I think it's masonite actually it feels like masonite so yes very amazing boards very amazing boards sis I hope you did not spend a lot of money on this I really don't because now it will feel really bad so don't 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 but I do I love it has a very just, I love the American Horror Story. This is where that's from. The Ouija Queen uh, Coven. Boom. There we go. Perfect. And it just slides so good. So nicely. So. The Ouija Queen. Never thought in my life I would touch anything like that. I, would, I never thought I would touch one. Thank you, sis. I love it. Seriously amazing. So. Alright, what did you guys do for Solomon? Did anybody do anything? Did you guys do your mass magic? I did. I did my mass magic last night. And it was very fun. It was very, uh... I tried to write a blog. Some, uh, Wix. The website. Something went kapooey and uh, my vlog just kind of disappeared so probably for the better because it really wasn't my best but I did my obviously you guys can see the mask right there um, I did the candle for 
all of my ancestors, all those that have come before, um, the people of the earth, um, to celebrate their lives and how they've helped us and our forefathers and our foremothers. And so all of the energies that have gone before and just the celebration of life through death. It was very, it was really peaceful. It was very peaceful. Um, very peaceful. I seen so many, in my vision, I seen so many of my ancestors. Just so many. It was, it was like they were lining up. And I just, it was too much. And I saw myself flying above the witch's sabbat. Um, I, I don't know, my grandma, she appeared to me as a, a witch, only if she was ascended. She had, I call her hair silver, long, she had a cloak. Um, it was, God, it was embedded with like literal stars. So it was really, really cool. It was very amazing. And so my, my candle magic spell ritual, it was just basically to take on that personification of Lucifer for that moment and transform inner demons into daemons, light, beings of light to work for myself. And then the candle, the candle magic was also for, you know, the, those people that have gone before, and also to bring in and usher in the new year for, I use tarot cards again within this spell. I thought that was a really good focal point. It just kind of focused me more on, I used um, judgment, which is the resurrection and the beginning, a new beginning, so, just a very positive, amazing night with my ancestors. Nothing special. I did nothing special. It was just a very intimate uh, night with my ancestors and just relaxing and writing afterwards in the book, in my second book. And yes, so yes. The first book is uh, sent in. And it will be out in 2017. That's all I can tell you guys. So, still working on the essence of Veronica. That is going to be promotional for the book. So there's going to be 10 only. 10 only. Ever. And then, so, we'll have Veronica, the essence of. And then Veronica, a glimpse into the afterlife. A spirit and grandson collaboration. So that book will be out in 2017. So, and then I'm doing my own promotional vials of her essence. So, I don't know. I'm very creative now. Very creative. Yesterday opened my mind to just completely different ideas. And it was incredible. So incredible. So, alright guys. Uh, coffee talk. Coffee talk. I love that you guys love the coffee talk. I love coffee talk. Do you guys remember that on Saturday Night Live coffee talk? Yeah? No? Maybe? Coffee talk or coffee talk? Alright. Let's see. Let's see who wants to yell at me today and tell me what I've done wrong within the Ouija. So. Alright. Just to let you guys know, never sign with a network on YouTube, ever, please. If BBA TV tries to contact you, I have my lawyer. I have a lawyer, so this is a battle. Um, don't, don't sign with anybody. If you have a community built, you don't need another network. You don't need somebody to take your money that you have worked your ass off for to all your videos, all your artwork, everything that you pour from your heart, your, your sweat, your blood, literally, into your videos, if you're letting them take your money, I suggest that you get out now. Seriously, get out now. Because I am stuck. I am stuck with them until 2017. But I have my lawyers, which are pretty damn good ones. So, yeah, BBA TV. I already told you guys, I warned you. So, 
Alright, just don't sign, guys. Don't ever, please. You will get taken advantage of. They will take your money. They will take all. They will take you. They will they will rob your, your passion. And I think it's ridiculous. And yes, it is illegal for me to be speaking about that, but I'm not breaching any contract within the contract. I'm not breaking any rules. So, BBA TV. I fucking hate you guys. I seriously do. I wish I could read all of you the emails, how they go back and they delete, you know, to get you to come in. They, you know, promise you all this stuff. Oh, so many subscribers. I already had a very good community before I signed with them. So, they are destroying this, this community right here. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. But you get my idea. No, nope. not gonna happen, guys. Not gonna happen. My channel, my show. Not yours, BBA TV. Sorry. It's not your show. It's mine. I run the show. You don't. My channel, not yours. So, if for any reason this channel does come down, it is because they do not deserve the up... I don't know how much money they steal. Yeah, steal. It's stealing, so I don't know how much money they've actually made off me. Quite a goddamn bit. Bastards. So, if it does come down, I will restart my channel and I'll start all over from scratch. And I will never sign with them again. Anybody. Don't. Just do it yourself. You can do it yourself. And be successful. So, okay. Anyway. Coffee talk. Sorry. Sorry. That was a rant. I had a rant. I had to get out. Alright. Football something. I don't know, but your, your profile picture is very cool. What the fuck? Too many orbs. Watch your mouth. Alright. Bradley... Robkin, Robbins, so fake. Oh, Bradley, I forgot you were here with me doing that Ouija session. God, I keep forgetting how many people I had right here. I keep forgetting. Everybody? Bradley Robbins. Thank you. Thank you. For debunking my fake Ouija video. You're incredibly ridiculous. Goodbye. Lee. Lee Paul. Hi. Lee. How are you, mate? Alright. Yo, great video, Mr. Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Okay, do you think when the spirits leave the body, the spirit goes to a place of rest before moving on to somewhere else? I think when we leave our body, well, I think when we die, um, depending on how much pain our physical body is in, I think we might leave our body before we actually do the whole body system and the brain shuts down just kind of like a coping mechanism, a safety mechanism so you're already out of your body in astral form, I think that's kind of just what I've gathered um, I think either you go straight uh, back to source spirit, god, goddess, whatever you want to call it or you go into a waiting period where you get to review your life and you get to see what you've done and what you need to work on and how, you know, what affected you in that previous life. Um, kind of like a schooling, uh, kind of. And then I think we are, um, we incarnate again. So, one of the two. One of, it's got to be one of the two. So, maybe, maybe just to protect us from the pain when we leave our bodies. Not sure. Not sure. Alright, Riggleman. How are you? I hope you are well. Oh, I just got chills. Like major... Major chills. What is around me? Alright. Hi, Ryan. Hi, how are you? 
tonight I did a very simple Hecate ritual asking her to bless me, my house, and ritual and food and drink. I like that. Very simple. Very, very simple and spiritual. Was it not? Was it very spiritual? Very simple but spiritual. Okay, about 20 minutes later I heard a loud bump out of nowhere. Could this have been her giving me a sign? I also don't work with casting circles or laying compasses as I believe spirits, gods, should be allowed to enter as they choose. I love that. I love that part. Last night I responded to you. Yes, I do. I, I love that, that you don't, you know, create a barrier for these entities to help. So, um, it could have been. It, it could have been a sign from Hecate. It just depends. Um, I, I think the bumps and, and the because yesterday, I mean, the veil was it's still very, very thin. Uh, my, my Halloween, I know, in uh, ancient pagan times, uh, Celts and European paganism, uh, it stops somewhere around November 4th, Samhain. So it's actually a longer, it's very long, it's a long rich, uh, ceremony. So, I, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know if that could, that could be a sign. Uh, you could ask yourself, what does that mean to me, that bump? What does that mean to me? How does that make me feel? Uh, could that possibly be a sign from Hecate? Uh, so just kind of go in to yourself and kind of look and really feel how you felt when that happened. Um, I, I, I Honestly, it, it sounds like a synchronicity. So, yes. It, there are no coincidences, so yes, probably was. Probably just, you know, she's, she's there, letting you know she's there. Yes, I, I get some strange things happening yesterday, uh, too, here. Uh, the door, <laughs> it's very strange, the door, her sliding, we have a giant closet door, it's got three wooden giant oak panels, that slide, it's a giant closet. No way in hell the wind can move that. It literally opened like a curtain. It just slow as possible. So that was kind of strange, but that's that's normal for this house. That's very normal for this house. Um I had a lot of visitors yesterday. Not humans. <laughs> I had a lot of visitors yesterday. They weren't alive though, so don't worry. So yeah. Alright. Tamara's spiritual journey. Samhain blessings to you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. I hope you had a great Samhain. Do you guys continue your Samhain celebration? Up until like the 4th of... Is it November? Yes, November. Thank you. I hope you... Yeah, I hope yours was awesome. Mine was very awesome. Wired ferrets. Hi, my darling. How are you? Alright, tonight I shall sit quietly and remember my mama. With a glass of mead. Oh. I love that. I love that. Alright, next year I'm going to make a big old pot of corn soup. Ooh. That sounds good. That sounds good. I wish... I had a broom that worked. I wish we could fly because I would be over there and we would make corn soup and we would be drinking. Well, you would be drinking, I would be drinking my coffee. Alright. And a huge plate of fry bread. Oh god, that sounds so good. Oh, and maybe throw in a deep dish apple pie with cheddar cheese melted over the top. Oh my god, no, it's not just a Michigan thing. It's a northern Indiana thing too. That's awesome. I'm so glad that you had a great night. It sounds very, very peaceful and nice. That is very cool. I love it. Alright, Wired Ferret. Hi. Wicca comes from the Old Irish, I think. Um, was it Angelo Saxon, the word? Old English. You're right. Word Witta 
could be Old English. The translation, loosely translated, mind, is a wise woman or any alternative healer. As any healer can tell you, the truth of life is all things end. Yes, yes. Sometimes it's those things, it's those things end in a messy, ugly manner, sometimes not. Life isn't always pretty, and it's often messy. Too many think that just because you're a healer, it means that you can't do anything dark. In truth, balance is needed in all things. And I totally, totally agree. Without the lightness, we would not have dark. Without lightness, we would not have anything. So, we wouldn't have if we didn't have both. Negative, positive. Completely agree. Yeah, I just wicca that word. It just, I don't. It just literally tastes bad. I just don't like it. I love love your info 89 gym rat what is your profile picture i can't see it that well it's like sunglasses for my eyes uh those black eyes you must be rh negative no they're contacts they're contacts they're sclera lenses sclerolenses.com and they feel amazing you don't even know they're in your eyes except it's a little bit darker. Thank you. Or, yeah, thank you for your comment. Alright, uh, Mag Magico? Magico Hudek. Hi. How are you? I hope you are well. You are powerful. I love you. Huh. Thank you. I'm not that power. I'm not, no. Mm -mm. Thank you. All my love. You have all my love. All my love. Thank you, thank you. Knowledge. I'm knowledgeable. So, that's, that's it. That's, I'm knowledgeable. But knowledge is power, so. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you too. Very much. Very much. Can you guys tell a difference in me today? I, I can feel different. Not 100% better. I mean, it, I feel different. Better. Happier. More joyful. I mean, I'm not happier. I'm more joyful. Alright, James Davis. What a bunch of bullshit. LOL. Well, then don't watch it. If it's a bunch of bullshit. Actually, you know, it's a video. So, it's not actual bullshit. So. Bah. Bah. Rainy days. Hi, how are you? I hope you are well. You are my new obsession. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you. That's very humbling. I am beginning some shadow work. Oh, I love shadow work. Let me know how everything goes. I love it, I love shadow work. It's so empowering and great and fulfilling. And you just learn so much about yourself. And it's just, it's, it's incredible, as you know. With the dark goddess Lilith. Oh, and the journey of Inanna. Oh my god. Yes, I love it. I love the story of her journey. Uh, descending into the underworld, shedding, you know, all these things that she had to shed. And coming out totally renewed. I love it. The dark male gods will meet me there, as they always do. Hades Pan, the morning star. Oh, I love it. It's like poetry. We can be whole if we do not work, but we cannot be whole if we do not work our shadow selves. Anyways, bravo, my beautiful brother. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. I love that. That is an amazing... Amazing. I just... It's, it's seriously amazing to see people working with their shadow selves and transmuting all that and transforming it. That is... I love it. Thank you for your comment. Alright. PJ Dempsey. Hi. Ryan. Yes. Could the spirits be draining your energy and life force? <laughs> no. No. Please do a cleansing of yourself and take some downtime. You help so many others. How can we help you? You guys already helped me more than you know just by your comments and the 
the love and the emails and the fan art, uh, friend art, sorry. I hate that. That is how you guys help. Just by a simple hi, hello. Just like that. Just like that. No. Um, no, I don't believe that any kind of spirit is obsessing me or draining my life force energy. It is a human being that is... And I, I wrote some book comment down there. And I'll reply back real quick. Really quick. Oops. It's not how you spell Satan. Alright, PJ. There you go. That's my problem right there. So, yeah. It's, it's tough. It's very tough. So, okay, Third Eye Gemini. Hi. I love you. You are gorgeous. You are so beautiful. I love your picture. Just gorgeous. You have such a an aura. Just it's it's almost goddess like esque. I love it. Okay, how do I start getting into magic and spirits and witchcraft? I want to connect with the other side to know what happens after death. I'm planning to buy a Ouija board this week. Oh, did you um, look up? You did look up the call of the hornpiper, is what you said. Looked it up. Okay, are you love? Do you love it too? I love it already. Thanks, doll. You are welcome. You are so welcome. Uh, the call of the hornpiper treading the mill. Um, the Tubal, Tubal clan. Shanti Oates. Shanti Oates. Uh, Michael Ford. I, I draw a lot of uh, European paganism. So really if you look and read, uh, keep reading, read The Call of the Hornpiper at least three times. Um, I've read it probably 23 times or more, read, keep reading, and just, um, I, I don't know uh, how to explain my belief system, but that book gives you a very good glimpse into how I believe, <clears throat> and how other traditional witches believe and practice, and honor, and honor the deities, and honor the spirits, and um, family, it's about family, uh, being you know, you're in your colony, your family. So, that's that's my my beliefs. I have some very odd ones, very odd ones. So, I'm glad you like that book. Everybody has seemed to love that book, and I still, I always, always recommend that one to everybody. I think you guys should all. Ha! Huh, BBA TV. Yeah, you emailed me. They just emailed me, guys. Damn it. So yes. Yeah, you'll get a really good uh, glimpse. And then when my book comes out too. Yeah, I kind of just threw that in there. When my book comes out, no. I'm not pushing my book on anybody. So, yeah, if you have any, any questions, all my info is below. You can always email me, always. And I will do my best to answer back, I promise. All right, shout out. Napa uh, Bones, something Napa Bones. Hi, I hope that cleared up. I hope I cleared that spell up for you. Um, if not, email me, let me know. And I have some more tricks up my sleeve. All right. Okay, uh, Axel for Clover One. Hi, I like that name. How do you set up the scrying mirror and crystals? What are they on? Oh, they're on the triangle of manifestation or the triangle of art. You can find the triangle of art or the triangle manifestation and the black mirror in, oh God. Michael Ford, his books, um, The Lesser Key of Solomon. Michael Ford simplifies what the Lesser Key of Solomon has to say, so it's actually readable instead of a bunch of thou's and thine and 
wildest and these just crazy long big words but I like to read those so I read the key of Solomon <laughs> the lesser key um, so yeah I set it up um, on the triangle of art manifestation I have my black mirror um, the corners it says Azazel it's my guardian my my major main god and then I just put uh, in the lower left bottom corner is where I put my tea light so I let my gut uh, my intuition and my mind's eye kind of guide me into what and how to actually get things to manifest from the triangle so that's what I do I have a video floating around on here somewhere I have like over 600 videos <laughs> so if you want to look you can Yes, you can. And I'll try to find some more information for you. But, like I said, email me if you can't, you know, find them. Or, and I'll try my best to help you. Alright. Um, I don't even know... Okay. Big dressed, uh... Big dressed panda. Not trying to be rude or anything, just curious. Were you born a boy or... I don't know. That's for you to decide. That's for you to decide. alien. Yes, I was dropped off here one day. It's very true. Shailen Kylie. Hi my darling, I hope you are doing well. Angelina Goodru. <laughs> I did not mean to freak you out. Channeling for you. I'm very glad that you're happy. That it's your guide. It did happen. It just happened in a different way not through the Ouija it just came out so you did get your uh, validation I got my validation through you which is very strange because I smelled those flowers which is very cool so I'm very glad you're happy that makes me happy Alright, Falcon Moon. Hi my darling. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are doing well. Alright. Okay, what's this? Was Godalex? I think? Hi. <laughs> How are you? Thank you for the coffee talk. I love your channel and it's helped me so much with my natural sensitivities. Uh, those those kind of comments those are worth it those all make everything worth it everything right there thank you so much you are incredible okay michael einzinger eisinger hi i hope you are doing good today thank you thank you thank you thank you for your comment about my book did i mention that i was writing a book too diana jmr I hope you are doing well. Alright, Ruby Night Flame. Hi my darling sis, I love you very much. Lorna. Hi my love child. How are you? I miss you. Very much. Sierra Ryan, shout out. Hi. How are you? Queen Nix. I love you. I love you very much. Uh, Peyton Harding. I was gonna say Manning. It's Gemma Gary, not Graham. I always get that mixed up. Who else's last name is Gray? That's uh, another author. Grr. I love her works. Sorry. Thank you for correcting me. Lee Paul. Hi, Mr. Paul. Mr. Ryan, do you really think EVP is safe? No, I don't. I, I don't think EVPs are safe at all. They scare me. I just, my gut tells me no. My grandma tells me don't bother. Don't bother with it at all. She tells me no. I have the board, I have my mind. I channel naturally, is what she says, so you don't need EVPs. It's 
scary. I, I just, I don't know why. I just think they're very creepy. Something about them. Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. Alright, Lee Paul. Good video, Ryan. You are very gifted. Your work is impressive, mate. Thank you. Thank you. How come you guys are so nice to me? <clears throat> you guys are seriously, like, the, the most incredible people ever. I love it. Amethyst Spirits. Oh, for the my first EVP thing, those pictures are just pictures that I put in there. Uh, because I had to, to make it a video, to put it on YouTube. So, none of those pictures, I mean, those are actual pictures that have not been tampered with. But they are really from my attic, where the fire happened. The little boy died here in this room. <laughs> so, those, and the first one, the green, that's uh, a pop art. Um, a pop art app on the phone to create pop art. So, it's just those pictures. But the picture of the deed, where it says the deceased uh, suicide and murder, murder, suicide, um, that's real. And then the picture of the piece of burnt wood, well, it looks like a stake, that's real. Uh, that's not been tampered with. So it's just kind of, I had to add some pictures in. And it, I didn't really know how, so some of them are like, last forever. And then at the very beginning you have the Ouija picture. It's just a game. Um, and it just, I can't video edit whatsoever, so. Yeah, it was just all in the recording. That was me speaking. That is how I would speak to a spirit. I would, that's how I would do it. So if anybody's wondering, my very first, my first EVP session, Spirits in the house, schoolhouse, something like that. That is how I would confront. Um, even if Z popped up on the board, that is what I would do. So, right. All right. Salen Feolan. Hi. I hope you are well. DJ Frost. Hello. I hope you are well. Jessica Andrews. Timber said hello. Hello. Hi. Who's Timber? Hi. Alright, Joseph Newhouse? Smile. Hi. I hope you guys are all doing so well today. Junior Areola? Areola? Is watching this bad? No. No. <laughs> no. Sorry. It's not. I promise. Alright, guys. Wow, long video today. Very long. I keep going out. There. Good puff. So yes. Alright guys. Everybody have a great day. Um, tomorrow for Witchy Wednesday, I think. I don't know. don't know, but I've got spell work to do. I've got some readings to do. So everybody have a great day. And thank you guys for all of your comments and your love and your support. And it's just, I love it. I love you guys so much. So we will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow definitely for Witchy Wednesday. So everybody have a great day. And be safe, like I always say. I won't say pepper spray pepper spray. Alright guys, I love you all very much and thank you guys.